So this is my newest book, Convergence. This book includes all of my best photos that I've taken over the last five years as I've gotten more into street photography. I just wanna take a sec and give a quick shout out to my good friend, Zamir. Uh, Zamir is the one that painted the cover for this project. I was very inspired by The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson, where he had the cover designed by Henri Matisse. And I felt that abstract artwork abstract painting specifically would be an interesting twist on it. I'm just so thankful for him. I'm so thankful that he was able to put the time and the effort into this. I think it turned out fantastic. I love the colors. I just love the way that it kind of encapsulates the meaning of Convergence as well. So big thank you to Zamir. So let's check out Convergence. I'm going to show off some of my favorite parts of this book and give a little bit more context. just want to highlight this uh, dedication page. Uh, it says, to those with whom our paths have converged along the way, reminding me that a new friend is always just down the street. So on this page here, we have my good friend Zamir, who, as I mentioned, painted the cover, our good friend Augie, my friend Teague, who I actually took a lot of these photos walking with, my good friend Ryder, who helped me along this entire process of sequencing, and then a few folks that I've just met on the street. This woman I met as I was walking around the Seattle waterfront. These two guys, they stopped me while I was photographing Pike Place Market and just said I had a good vibe and that they would love it if I could take a photo for them. This man was a doorman at a hotel across the street from Central Park, and he stopped me because he saw my M three and he was like oh my goodness like he told me this long story about how his brother gave him a Leica and how he's held on to it ever since his brother died and it means a lot to him and he was super excited just seeing somebody using one and inspired him to go pick it up again really this page is just kind of what I get out of street photography it's the friendships both the old and the new super thankful to these folks and infinitely more people that I've met throughout this five-year process this collection of photographs spans the last five years since the creation of my first book, Sanctuary. Unlike the intentional approach I took with that project, these images were captured without preconceived intent. Despite countless hours spent wandering and photographing the streets, I struggled to find any meaning in it all. It wasn't until my third year of this style of photographing that I began to truly grasp its significance in my life. In June of 2023, on a flight to San Francisco, I found myself seated next to a woman named Elena. Our conversation wandered from discussions of work to more broad and personal topics. You're only 23? You have so much life ahead of you, she often remarked. As the plane descended, I asked her what advice she would give to herself at my age. Her response still remains with me. Quote, you can't force learning yourself. Everything will come when it comes, and you just have to focus on aligning your experiences with your best understanding in the moment. Eventually, things will slowly begin to make more sense, and you will continue to align with who you've come to know yourself as. With those words, I thanked her and we parted ways. Since that encounter, I've approached my photography with a similar mindset. Rather than forcing meaning, I've learned to open myself to whatever touches my soul. This collection embodies moments that required only my presence and not my interference. I find it all so absurd that any of these moments exist, let alone the fact that they were presented to me in a fashion that has allowed me to hold on to, cherish, and share with you. Each moment as unlikely and meaningless as the last, yet so profoundly beautiful. I hope these photographs serve as a reminder of just how strange it is to be anything at all, and that meaning, purpose, and beauty are not a destination, but something to be found everywhere and carried with us, so long as we keep searching. With love, Matthew Rigg. I mentioned this in a video that I made prior called Photographic Sensitivities, where, you know, you go out and you just experience life and whatever it throws at you. The process of finding yourself in other things, I find to be very beautiful. And that is kind of what I've gotten out of this medium. So as we open up to the first page, there is this quote which has inspired the title of the book by Walt Whitman that says, to me, the converging objects of the universe perpetually flow. All are written to me and I must get what the writing means. It really embodies the way that I perceive street photography specifically. Finding meaning is a difficult thing to do in these things that are unrelated to me. So the first photo that I really wanna highlight in this book is the very first one. Uh, this is a photo that I took in Portland, Oregon on last Thanksgiving. When it came to me in the moment, I was just so astounded by it because 
I always try to find very like balanced compositions. And the moment that I walked by and I saw this dog on the bottom right third and this reflection of the sunset in the upper left third, right after Thanksgiving dinner, I just like went for a quick walk. I had my camera on me and this scene just came to me. That's kind of the beauty of street photography to me is that you know, I had no idea what was gonna come my way, if anything was gonna come my way on that walk, but it was just about being prepared and being open, and this is something that came to me. Another photo that I wanna highlight is the following photo. This is one that I took in front of the New York Public Library. I love that the lion here in the statue matches the uh, pose of the dog on the prior page. I also love that this woman has a backpack on backwards and it is bright red. And something about this photo that I never realized until I was going through the book and I looked really closely was this writing on the library itself. On here it says, beauty, old yet ever new, eternal voice and inward word. I don't entirely know what that means or if it has any application to this photo, but just the details that I find after taking a photo and spending some time with it is very interesting to me. So this spread right here is another one that I wanna talk about. I just love the way that at a certain time of the year, in a certain type of lighting, I'm able to get these sort of silhouetted photos with really nice greens. What I aspire to do in my street photography is not so much highlight specific people, but more so highlight scenes. Like I don't wanna sound all like woo woo, but like in a lot of ways, I just want my street photography to kind of highlight the human experience and be less about like individual people. And I feel like these definitely portray that in a good way, in kind of a way that I've intended. Both of these photos are like a year apart. At no point did I really seek out to kind of like make this a style, but it's just something that kind of came to be. Now, this is a photograph that I'm still so blown away by. If any of you are from Seattle or know anything about Seattle, you may have heard of a place called Aurora. I lived on Aurora for about three years. If you don't know, is a very notorious street here in Seattle for just not great stuff going on. I remember one night this fog rolled in. I'm really excited about this photo. It feels kind of like a painting to me. I know like it looks like a painting is kind of a cliche among photography at this point, but I don't know. I'm just really proud of this one. And then we got this photograph that I took at the Seattle Public Library. I love that the orange rugs here kind of complement the um, contrasting color of the blue in the beams here. I love that there's this woman uh, working at the desk. It's one of my favorite photographs I've ever taken. I also want to highlight this photograph that I took on the subway a few years back. You know, usually I don't get this close with my street photography, but this woman looked so truly timeless. Like her outfit, her lipstick, the way her lipstick matched her bag, and the bookmark in her book. It just all, you know, with the orange in the seats on the subway, like this photo feels like it could have been taken at any time and I love that. I absolutely guessed on the distance, but it turned out. So it must have been meant to be, I suppose. And lastly, I just wanna talk about this final spread here. Um, this is a photograph that I took on the Oregon coast. Uh, I took this on some expired Portra 400 VC, which has come to be my favorite uh, expired film stock. Once again, it just feels nice to look at, in my opinion. I'm very excited about this. One last Walt Whitman quote to close out the book. I chose this quote because I feel like it just bookends very well, but it says, Pleasantly and well-suited I walk. Whither I walk I cannot define, but I know it is good. The whole universe indicates that it is good. The past and the present indicate that it is good. There's something to be said about you know, meaning being in the process and not in the end product. And this quote, I feel, has helped me kind of cope with that in a lot of ways. I go out and I walk. Um, I don't know where. I don't know for what. But regardless, I know that in this process of walking and searching, that that is enough for me. I'm very happy with how this book turned out. If you're interested, there's still copies available on my website. The link is down in the description. I hope you check it out. There will be a video coming soon, um, flipping through every page. I did the same thing for my first photo book, Sanctuary. If you wanna check that out, it's on the channel as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.